Hey guys, how's it going? This is your favorite Hulk Weeb, and today we have an FPS guide for Fortnite. This is the latest FPS guide you can find on the internet, and I'm going to teach you and show you all the tips and tricks that you need in order to increase your FPS. Because soon, my boys, Fortnite will become much more difficult on your graphics card due to their change to DirectX 11. Anyways, you don't worry about that now, so sit back, relax, and enjoy. Alright, so first off, I just want to say before we get into it that I'm literally going to show you everything that you can do instead of upgrading your PC to increase your performance in Fortnite. This should really help. However, if it doesn't, you really need to consider upgrading your PC. There is no magic tool to this. There are only number of things you can do. But hey man, if you're running a potato, you're running a potato. That's it. <laughs> Alright, so first things first, I want to talk about Discord. Not many of you know this tip, but many of you use Discord, so I feel as if it needs to be talked about. So Discord as an app uses a lot of your computer memory and decreases your gaming performance, no questions asked. If you're in the call, if you have an overlay enabled, it will decrease the gaming performance. So what I'm going to show you is that if you're using Discord, you can actually do some things to tweak it and make your game run faster. The way you're going to do that is open up your Discord. I'm um, joining my server, by the way. Um, and you're going to click on this wheel right here saying user settings next to your name. It's going to bring you here. Um, next thing, of course, you want to go to overlay. You want to check enable in-game overlay. Make sure it's off like because it's automatically on. That's why I said check because, yeah, it's automatically on. So if you click, it's going to go off. You get the point anyway. <laughs> Um, now that we've done that, we've disabled our overlay. However, there is one more thing as well. We're going to scroll down here into the appearance and uh, scroll down all the way down until we see hardware acceleration. Basically, what this does is uh, it says here, I'm just going to read, turns on hardware acceleration, which uses your GPU to make Discord smoother. Turn this off if you're experiencing FPS drops in games. What this will do is basically give you some FPS drops in the games if your PC isn't strong enough. However, I'd strongly advise turning off Discord in general because that will give you the maximum performance you want. You can use the in-game voice chat in Fortnite. It's like the same quality as Discord, if not better. Nah, I'm kidding. It's not better. If you really need to use chat, maybe use the phone. You can get Discord on the phone. I don't know. But it is not advisable to have Discord running where you play this game because it will F your memory up. While we are talking about things we could disable before our game time, a handy thing to note is to keep your mind on your task manager and what background apps are working. Because really most of the time, background apps are the ones that are taxing your performance the most because they are well working in the background. So instead of 100% of your PC's performance, going into Fortnite, it goes all around. So advisable thing would be to close things that you know are safe to be closed. Do not mess around too much if you don't know these things. Also a very risky thing to do would be to disable your antivirus because we all know how taxing they are on your windows. However, I do not advise it. Safety should be your number one priority. Now I'm not going to show you how to disable your antiviruses because many people use variety of them. There's like bunch of antiviruses that are very effective and they're working so it would be kind of useless for me to show you how to disable them because a person a probably has a different one than a person b all right so next up we are back on the desktop as you can see next up what we want to do is disable game bar what game bar is it's like a newer addition to windows well it's not really new but it hasn't been around for much anyway it's an xbox program that works in the background you got it everyone's got it with the new version of windows 10 um basically what it does is records highlights of your games uh, it works in the background and so on and that's very taxing if any of you have recorded something in the past you know how taxing it is so what you want to do the way you want to like disable that is uh click on your start icon here uh, click on this little wheel right here where set settings um here we'll find gaming you want to click there and that's the first thing you should see game bar make sure it is off uh you don't want to touch anything else here and make sure the game mode is off next up what we want to do is edit our power settings so click on the search bar type in edit powers 
power plant what power plant is right here you're gonna click there uh, this window should pop up click here on power options it should bring you to this page anyways you won't have high performance here what you will have here is balanced and power saver high performance will be hidden right down here so as you guys can see this little arrow down you have to click it and this will show and high performance should be right here. I've selected mine so it's up here. Make sure to just select it. What you'll have by default is balance. As you guys can see balance is automatic. It is what your Windows does automatically. This will help you tremendously with the laptops because when you're balanced and you're low on battery, the performance will decrease a lot, like by a lot, all right? So make sure you have high performance. Next up, what we want to do is change our Fortnite to a custom resolution. Now, this is going to work 100%. Like, this one is a massive boost to your FPS. Like, it has to happen. Like, there is no way this option won't help you. Like, even if you're running on a potato at this point, it shall help you. The way you want to do that is you want to click on the search. You want to type in percentage, update percentage. This folder shall open. You want to click on app data here you want to click on local um search for fortnite game saved config windows client and game user settings okay so this notepad should open you want to scroll down until you see resolution size x and resolution size y last user confirmed resolution size x and last user confirmed resolution size y now, the way you want to switch this is, I'll give you two options. Either use this resolution that I'm using, 1024 by 768 or 800 by 600. 800 by 600 is if you really need to go low, if this is not enough. Um, 1024 by 768 is kind of like stretched in a way, but like you can still see everything pretty damn well if your 3D settings are 100%. So the way you want to change this, I'll show you by changing this to 800 by 600. Um, you're going to change resolution size X to 800. You want to re change resolution size Y to 600. Same thing goes for down here. 800, 600. Now make sure before you do this that you had the full screen mode on. Because if you had like full screen borderless or windowed mode, this is not going to work. So make sure before exiting the game that you had a full screen mode. Now that you change that up, you want to click on X here and save. You won't get banned for this. Don't worry about that whatsoever. Since you're only changing the resolution, it has no advantages whatsoever. Nothing it is 100% safe. Now let's get into the game. Before we get into the game, there's a simple trick. Um, what you want to do is click on Fortnite icon or Epic Games, doesn't matter. Uh, what you can do is basically close the Epic Games launcher when you launch Fortnite. You don't need it to run in the background, that's right. And this all boils down to what we said before, closing the things we do not need to run in the background while we are playing this game. So we are going to do that, as you guys can see, once you start Fortnite. The Epic Games Launcher opens. Now, when you want to close it is when Fortnite actually starts. So first, you'll see this screen, obviously. And then when the loading screen finally pops up, what you want to do is just the uh, Alt tab and close this little baby. So let's just wait for that. All right, now that we are in the game, I'm going to show you some settings that you could use. Basically, what you want to do is open Battle Royale, standard. Alright, so um, we're going to go to play. So now that we're into the play, you want to click on this thing right here and click on this wheel right here. Alright, here we are. Now, you want to copy these settings basically. Show FPS on so we can see if we improved or not. Monitor blur off. This is very important. This should be off. Same as we sync off. Make sure it's off. Everything here, make sure it's low, 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 off, off, and near. 